Harvesting multiple crops means working with different headers. To configure a new one, click on the icon with the combine on the top corner of the screen, then from the combine main menu, select the header settings. Once there, click on the header icon on the top right corner. In the new page appearing, click on the box on the top to get to the header configuration menu. Click on the plus icon and add a new header. In this example, we will configure a PowerFlow header. Type the header name on the digital keyboard of your terminal and confirm. Now, a drop-down menu will appear. Clicking on the box on the menu, you can choose the type of header you need to create. Select your header type from the menu and confirm. Remember, this is a mandatory step whenever you will work with a different header, since each header has specific functionalities. Once the preferred header is chosen, you will have the possibility to adjust the related parameters. Starting from the top, click on each box to enter the information. In this example, we will set a 40-foot power flow header. Fill in the header width in millimeters. Then, the reel information. If the header is equipped with the reel, for example, a corn header won't have this info, mark the reel box with the green tick. Then fill in the reel diameter and the pulses per revolution, PPR. If an echo header is equipped, the last values are already set. Now, in the lower part of the screen, you will see the header option settings. In this case, the available are directly connected to the typical header implements, like the vertical knives, or directly to other functions of the combine, like the header management. Since in our tutorial we are not using the vertical knives, just mark the box with the red cross. The following option in the list will enable real functions, which are fundamental if you want to use the header management. Mark the box to activate it, and mark as well the active tilting. The last option, the variable speed draper, will allow you to change the speed of the belts of the 40-foot power flow only and the speed of the belts of the draper header. A plus and minus icon will appear after clicking on the box. Use those buttons to adjust the speed of the belts. The header symbol in the lower part of the screen is a view of the header from the top. The box on the right represents the table offset that is the distance between the cutting bar and the header holder. The box on the top is the offset management for corn headers, for the alignment of the header with the feeder house. If an echo header is a kit, this value is already set. On the right side of the screen, you will now see multiple icons. The second one, starting from the top, is the header calibration icon. This one will turn yellow whenever your new header is not calibrated. Remember that each new header must be calibrated before going to work. You will also need to calibrate your header at the beginning of every season as well. To correctly calibrate the header, click on the icon and follow the instruction of the calibration menu. You can also access to the calibration menu from the ISOBUS and of course, you will learn all the specific information about it in the ISOBUS and calibration tutorial. The remaining icons are the sensitivity adjustment and the automatic header lifting function when going backward with your combine. Of course, you can enable or disable this function just clicking on the icon. To customize the header lifting behavior instead, click on the sensitivity adjustment icon and proceed as explained in the Terra Control header tilting tutorial. The last icon is the activation of the section control in manual or automatic mode. Toggle on the icon to engage it.